Alabama football staff has been focused on some of the best players in the South. And it doesn't matter if they have committed to other colleges or not. This program is on the attack, and they've got their sights set on a four-star and a high four-star out of Louisiana. We're going to talk about Jabari Antoine. Alabama practices started through the first practice. Today will be the second practice. And there's a couple of things that are different this year than last year, including headset communications and music. Yeah, music out on the field. I've got my WJLX T-shirt on because it's a radio station. We're going to get into all that right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell so you know when we've got new shows dropping. Let's get this thing started. Roll tight, everybody. Hey, everybody, welcome to the WJLX Morning Show with Brett Elmore. I'm Mick Gillespie, or maybe we're not, but I, I am a guest now on uh, Big Elmo's, Big Sexy Elmo's Morning Show, which is, That's I guess, right. you've added the sexy because of the appeal that you have now across Walker County and the entire central state of Alabama. That's right, and I enjoy having you on in the mornings because we, we had fun yesterday morning. We had fun uh Whenever we jump on the air, man, it's always a good time. That's what I enjoy about this show, too, because we have a lot of fun. Look at my t shirt, man. And you guys, you guys can get one of these, too. You got to listen to the the, uh, Brett Elmore show in the mornings, right? That's right. Brett Elmore in the mornings. All right, Brett, let's talk about Alabama because one thing that they have done is they've gotten up pretty early in the morning in the recruiting game. And this was an area where Alabama fans were concerned. Hey, is coach DeBoer and his staff going to go after the top notch recruits in Alabama and in the South? And one of those guys that I'm excited about, even though he's an LSU commit is Jabori Antoine. He is a four-star DB out of new Iberia, Louisiana. Brian Kelly's got him right now committed, but this is a re offer. Right. And, and 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 he's like, hey, you know, it always had to feel like he might leave the state. He's committed to Louisiana right now or LSU. But who knows if Alabama is going to be able to pull the court on this guy and get him into Tuscaloosa, the University of Alabama. We need to go ahead and reel him in the six one one hundred and seventy pound uh, Westgate High School student. If you're not familiar with uh, Jabori. Antoine, um, he is a two-way he, guy. He plays both sides of the football. He plays, uh, um, uh, well, <laughs> he starts at corner and he starts at quarterback. Wow. So uh, he plays both ways and he's good at both positions, Mick. Uh, total 32 tackles uh, uh, in 2022. Um, he uh, 11 pass breakups, uh, five interceptions uh, on defense. And then, he threw for over 1,600 yards and 12 touchdowns on offense yeah, and right. then ran for 300-plus yards. So uh, the kid's uh, obviously very talented, plays both sides. I'm not sure what uh, division that uh, school is. You, you, see that, uh, you see that a lot in lower divisions. Uh, kids play it both ways, but I think he's probably talented enough where he plays both ways no matter what the division is. Well, um, probably like Mbakwe, you know, who plays yeah. at or played at Clay Chalkful, but he did exactly the same thing. Cornerback, which he's at Alabama doing that, and then quarterback, which is what the team needed, but he also could play wide receiver, probably could play running back. Uh, this is one of those deals where you got Colin Hitzler, and he's one of the most renowned cornerback coaches in the country. Your Alabama. You give this guy another offer just to let him know, hey, man, we're play- paying close attention to you. Brian Kelly locked down Louisiana uh, last year, 12 of 13 of the top recruits in the state. But 25 and 26 could be two really big uh, 
you know, classes in LSU or in uh, Louisiana anyway. And so for Alabama to get in there like Nick Saban used to do and break that up a little bit could be beneficial. And Alabama's had a history of being able to go into Louisiana and get guys like Eddie Lacy to come to Tuscaloosa. I mean, there's a, there's a whole list of guys. Um, but this one here, I think, is it shows that Alabama's recruiting Louisiana, that they're not going to be swayed by a commitment and that this new class and this new coaching staff isn't afraid to get in there and duke it out. Right. And, and, you know, he's committed to LSU, committed to them in, in January, but everybody and their mothers after this, this, this guy, but Alabama, yeah, he, he, uh, uh, they reoffered and then said, Hey, you know, we still, we still want you here, but still, you know, uh, you got Florida state, uh, the, they offered him, uh, as well. And Ole Miss and Syracuse and everybody, like I say, so, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, it would be another major flip. We'll 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 see. Now he, um, um, I, uh, Monday he's going to be going on a visit to Miami. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But we'll keep an eye on this one. This will be an interesting story. And that's why it's important that Alabama recruit him because he's going on visits and they're going to want to bring him to Tuscaloosa. Right. And you go from the dead period, you know, to the slow period and all these different things that you do in recruiting. But, um, you know, right now would be a great time for him to come and see what's going on in Tuscaloosa, because one thing that he's going to notice is that there's music at football practice. Can you imagine with football music during practice? It would be nothing but the Rolling Stones with Coach Saban, but uh, I don't know. Uh, what is being played at practice? That's what I would love to know. What is the playlist like? What's, uh, you know, are they streaming WJLX or are they just, uh, you know, uh, you know, what's the playlist? I don't know. Um, lot, You know, a lot of people like it. A lot of people don't like it, you know. Uh, I go to high school practice. uh several times and I've, I've, you know, seen, you know, the big speakers out and they're out there, you know, listening to music. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, it's a first, uh, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't see coach Saban or Stallings or coach Bryant having anything to do with it. But, uh, like I say, it's a new era and a new day. Yeah. Yeah. But look, I, I feel like when I was around Cubs camp in 2016, they used to bring a DJ in. And the yeah. guy would be out there spinning records and, you know, and playing tracks and it was loud and it was fun. And the guys won the world series. So I don't know that there is any correlation between having fun and losing. You know, I think that it's a different style of coaching that DeBoer has and we'll see how the guys respond to it. But I think that you can have a lot of success having a good time. Yeah, and and I and I'd heard that this first practice they had on Monday had uh, a lot of energy. Some that people around the, the you know the program said they hadn't seen in a long time, and that kind of surprised me a little bit. But I guess they were excited. The music's blaring. Uh, the new coaches there. The new coaching staff is there. They're finally out on the field, uh, but they know the business and the task at hand and and what they got to accomplish. But Um, I like the music. It's fine. Yep. One thing that's also different is helmet communicators, you know, inside the helmet. Let me grab my helmet over here. Now, this is an old helmet. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? Like, they'd have like a, you know, basically something in there where the, 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 yeah, where the guys could hear. And Coach DeBoer said they were like holding the, you know, holding the ear hole so that they could kind of hear the communicator. And he said that it wasn't, it was too low. Uh, we saw him messing with it and, you know, and that they're going to test it at Bryant Denny stadium, but it was approved by the NCAA for use. It could possibly cut down on sign stealing, you know, who knows, but technology has definitely changed in college football. Can we call it the Harbaugh rule? <laughs> uh, yeah. You should have put on the, you should have put on the helmet and kind of just showed us how, how that worked. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, I, I, they they would have to special order me a helmet, but yeah. um, uh, thanks, Mick. 
Um, but it, <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> that was like a joke on yourself that Bull Corey would have loved to have. Oh, uh, yeah, and that's big head of yours. Um, what size hat do you wear? I, I don't know. I'm like a six, I'm a seven and, a, and an eighth, so it's not a very big hat. I can't, uh, it's it's funny you mentioned that, and um. Because I can't find a hat to to fit. I used to f- be able to find a hat to fit me. I can't find a hat to fit me. Very interesting. Uh, and and and, and I was go to and, lids and, and just try a bunch of them on. Well, the thing is, too, and you're going to find this funny. I was looking for my tape measure just the other night to try to measure the circumference of my head, <laughs> just to see. Just to because see because you know they have it. like a size chart. I, it, it's funny you mentioned that because it, I've been wondering what size is my head. Yeah. Uh, a lot of brain I would have in to there. go with the, uh, you know, one of those big hats. Yeah, right. Oh, the big hats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I would go with a big hat. That would be funny. I'd love to see you wear it on here. Yeah, yeah. I will. Yeah, yeah. But um, the helmet communications, um, just a part of the game, and uh, I think it's a good part of the game because I mean they use it with the pros. Yeah. Uh, you know why not? Um, uh, and it would cut down on the sign stealing and and. Uh, but you get in those loud stadiums, man. You get Bryant Denny rocking, and uh, especially on the road, you go to LSU, man. Uh, it's it's gonna be. You better have that down pat because it. Uh, uh, you need to be able to hear what's going on. Biggest head I ever saw in baseball was Bruce Bochy. Uh, met Bruce Bochy at the old Don and Charlie's during spring training. He won three World Series with the Giants. Won last year with the Rangers. And he had to have, I think, a special hat made. It was like eight something, you really? know. And, and most, yeah, most of them are in the seven, you know, seven range. So you, you're not the only guy that's ever come along that, you know, might need a uh, specialty hat. But it looked good on him, you know. It looked good on him. He had also, we shook my hand, and he and his hands were huge too. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, anyway, let's get off the subject of the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I, Comment section. Enough? Comment section. You guys tell Brett what you think about his head. All right. Anyway, like that. No, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's talk about uh, WJLX in the mornings. Great having you back on. I know that's something that you are passionate about. And if folks are looking for a morning show to uh, to check out, listen to a lot of my favorite tunes. Right, the '80s. You ca- you crack the '80s pretty hard on there. Um, but uh, great to have you back on the air again and doing your show. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of fun. And then you can find us uh, if you don't live in Jasper or the, you know, this area, this part of the state. You can always find us at WJLX1015.com, the iHeartRadio app. Tune in. We also have our own custom app. You can go to the, your app store and type in WJLX and download the uh, free mobile app. So nice. All right. Many ways to many ways to listen. Don't forget, the show is always brought to you by Pearl River Resort over in Choctaw, Mississippi. A lot of great concerts coming up. You know that when this rain stops, it's going to be golf season. You got Dancing Rabbit Golf Course. It's the Augusta that you can play. You got the Time Out Sports Lounge, Vegas-style sports book right there at Pearl River. Hour and a half from Tuscaloosa, two hours from Birmingham and Jasper. Check it out for yourself. Table game slots. It's a Really, it's a vacation. Like going to Vegas except it's, uh, you know, close to home, hour yeah. and a half. All right. Uh, thanks to them. Thanks to you, Brett. And we will talk to you guys soon. Uh, Bama practices, and uh, we will be covering that right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Thanks, guys, and uh, a hearty roll tide. 